Ermion, okay. Right, let's go and try and win this tournament. Get it over with, because it's going to be painful no matter what. Okay, to the peasantry again. I doubt it myself, but the wife, she won't care. And the next job is plugging in the Xbox controller and beating the crap out of people. Ah, here we go. The tourney is on the way. Might I glance at your deck? Sure. If you must. Here. An impressive array. Count Monnier waits inside. You may enter. Thanks. I have nearly all the cards. All the cards. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction, how do you find it? Uh, it's not my favorite. Honestly, not one of my favorites. Hmm. Yet I believe you will easily win the tournament wielding it. Any specific tournament rules? Hmm. Mind giving me an overview? Firstly, might I introduce the contest? That sounds cheaty. Superb Gwent players all, hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbali. An Ophieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigrad. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. Ye blind? Not Skelliger, Skelligirl, damn it! Naturally, <laughs> no offense meant. Agnetha Skolt, her effort charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match, and you're eliminated. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the tourney's previous edition, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hin. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hands off okay. our weight! No new fucking factions! <laughs> Calm down, people. Protesters are gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Money, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling <laughs> the dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Hmm. Mind telling me what factions the others will be playing? It is no secret. Eric van Frog will play the Northern Realms. His Excellency, in a flush of patriotism, chose Nilfgaard. Hamal Ochendagbali will play the Monster's deck, and Agnetha Skold has chosen Skoyatel. Yours truly, of course, shall await the winner with a Skellige deck. I'm determined to prove its value. Come on in. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney's start. Let the tourney begin! Rounds. In it's round always. one, Agnetha Skult faces Eric von Brog. And Geralt of Rivia plays Hamal on Gangbali. Let's grab a table. I'm against the monsters, Dash. What did you have in mind? 
weapons do I collect, and your sword of silver my eye has caught. Should I win, I should take it. Should I lose to you another equally precious shall I give? Um... Ah, uh, go on, man. All right. So be it. That's Erendite. Not a fan of him potentially taking Erendite. Okay. You can turn into really strong cards. Berserker. Be smart to get rid of that Berserker and then Um I want a Miami and card in there, please. Well, I'm gonna sit down and think for a second, but I need the toilets. I'll be back in a minute. Uh yes, I was looking at this. Demon Pirate, they are quite good. <laughs> I think that would be really useful to throw in. Okay, well, I'm going to put the three young berserkers in. Cool. Got Ceres. Cool. <sighs> I have one heal. I'm going to play you. Uh, I'll only kill off number five, won't it? So... cards and no point in throwing you down. Okay. That's a win for me there. I get two cards from there. That. Catacans. Uh, 
Perfect. At least kill off one of his cards. There we go. Slander like that don't live long because we don't let them. <laughs> Accuse me of cheating again, and I'll cut your tongue out. Enough, hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners, and we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monier, the contestants from Novigrad and Skellige are hereby. Disqualified! Gentlemen's sport. Really? Well, I'm a lady. And we ladies don't give a flying fart about a tourney where any measly prick can accuse us of cheating. With round one completed, the standings are as follows. Agnetha Skolt and Eric Van Vrog both disqualified. Geralt of Rivia has defeated Hamel Ong and Valley of Ophir. In the semi-final, Gerard shall face the defending champion, Ambassador Von Hin. I don't like this one. Oh, this is not going to be a, a good round. You know what? I'm getting rid. Of these guys. Maybe even all geared as well, actually. Yeah. Damn it, I need one. Need another unit card, okay. We'll take you. Keep, keep, keep. <coughs> uh, keep you. Get rid of one of you. Yeah. Yeah, yes, that'll do. The Impera Brigade. A strong position here. What does this do? Uh, let's get Camby down. Okay. If I put you down, you'll kill off that card. How many heals do I have? No heals. And throw Triss down and try and force him to play a little bit more. I was only going to kill himself. Keep forgetting. Strongest card. I'll pass. Okay.
Let's push him hard for the first few cards. Ooh, clever. There we go. Let's put you down. kill off that card. Let's throw it out there anywhere. Let's put Helm Yamar down. a bit of a blinder. <laughs> oh, that was a good move. I'll hand that to him. Mutual, I assure you. Congratulations, Richard. Stop desecrating Gwent! Dear, 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 all <laughs> new factions! Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius! Off your asses and hide the Skelliger! Yeah, I love it, seal sloppers! Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monia! <laughs> and hands off our Gwent! Yeah, what exactly is your problem? Here? Maybe instead of hollering threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said it plenty of times, yet no one ever listens. Got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime. Its rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. Will not tolerate the introduction of any others. It would disgrace the tradition. <laughs> Aye, leave our Gwent the fuck alone. Enough of this. Didn't come here to Java, but to break fucking heads in defense of tradition. Come on, lads. No, we're trying. We're basically dealing with a bunch of people who only care about tradition. Come on! There we go. That's better. You off a bit. God, I hate fist Fuck. fights in this game. Seeing triple, quadruple even. Enough! I shall summon the guard. I got this count. Sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another. With who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else, however you want. But you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Bollocks! Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says, if one says you're talking bollocks, they could be right. They could be wrong. But if multiples say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. Who else here thinks I'm full of it? 
Zoltan Chive. I haven't seen that rascal in ages. How's he doing? Hmm. Was in Novigrad last I saw him. Be glad to tell you more over a flask of something strong. Attention, everyone! Our outing's taking a new turn. We're to sit and drink vodka with Zoltan's pal. Gentlemen, wait. We've still the final round of the tournament to play. I know. Fuck that. I, Yaki Raffiberg, to hereby declare my participation in this tournament. And I demand to play the victim. We'll settle whether this Skellige faction's worth a flaming bag of shit once and for all. Agreed, uh, but please show some patience. We must first play a pre-final. Why are there so many games of Gwen? In the uh, pre-final, Count Monnier, representing the Skellige faction, shall face Geralt of Rivia, also playing with a Skellige deck. My brother's dream has come true. Skellige in the final, and played by both contestants. Good luck. <laughs> God, I hate this deck so much. I get anything new for it? Not really, no. Like, it's all well and good having like 23 cards. Just can't draw anything. Excellent, Saris. That's lovely. Okay. Let's put Camby in. Okay. I have one heal, so... Let's put Shield Maiden in 42. There we go. Okay, do like this. Look, you can be back out again just to be play the next round. Cool. I think we've got this one. Bugger. That's okay. Wasn't contributing anything to this one. Yeah, Martin. Give it and playing hard. Last card is. He's passed. 83 to 75. I win. Now to beat a dwarf. I'm guessing he's probably going to use the uh, Northern faction. The best man has oh, could won. Use the the best faction to boot. Thanks. Good game. Scala got one. What a bundle of pish. Tournament's not done. Now at my turn. That is what we agreed. Let us resolve our differences here and now. Now to determine the ultimate victor! Geralt of Rivia, playing the Skellige faction, shall face Yaki Raffiberg, playing 
Skyatel! Let the better man or dwarf win! <laughs> Which of you? Was that truly necessary? And our knights will have any chop liver? Now this is where it could get awkward. Could go well, could go badly. I'm gonna take a scorch in with me. I may never get to touch it. He says he immediately gets it. <laughs> Serious, please give me serious. Okay, you've just swapped out the card for me. Wonderful. Okay. For a can be down. I actually don't know. Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units if they if the combined strength of his, all his or her close combat units is ten or more. I don't like that. That's going to screw me quite hard at some point. I have one heal. Throw you down. I could really do with getting that early win. Throw down Yennefer. Bring Camby back. Okay. There we go. Me. Shkiru. What does that do? Destroy your enemy's strongest siege combat unit. Ah, oh, that's okay then. Hard on the map, so let's get rid of that. Feeling she's going to do that. Okay. Let's see what the last one does. Oh, thank fuck. That's a... This shit's done then. <laughs> this is done. Thank god I hate Gwen. <laughs> What hurts most is fucking Skellige one. But as they say, tough shit. Congrats. Come on, lads. Let's get soused. No, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tipple. We must toast the premier of the new faction. And if anyone wishes to play a friendly match of Gwent, I see no reason why not. Thank you for everything, Witcher. Uh, 
all go as planned. Went exactly as you planned. What matters is we played white, and I presented the Skellige faction. You proved yourself a true Gwent master. Here, the grand prize. You earned it. And how much money does it come with? Thank you very much, Count. Thank you <laughs> once more for deigning to take part oh, in grand. the little That's not too bad. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Farewell. Oh, that stuff's done. Show us for our opponents. Primal participation is. Whereas vindicating victory means trouble here. Always. Anyone else to talk to here? How are you? Uh, I must see a medic. No, pick her at all. Welcome. Oh, I can leave them. My arm's getting deader and deader. I had the um, jab earlier today. Uh, I've got to go beat up a bunch of people now. How much I've got left in terms of uh, went cards. Organize yourselves. Here it is. I need one more card in Valen, two in Skelliger. Number of new cards which can still be won from players of no particular renown or skill. Six. Okay. Let's come to find us something. Blave! Ooh. I like the look of this sword. But is Geralt based on that? Okay. Where's the nearest beat em up? Cooper's Gate. No one's really that far away from each other. Damn it. It'll eat something. One false move and you will regret it. The jaw dropping fan comb awaits. Okay, one second. Devastating as his fists, his reposts bring grown men to tears. Okay. Who dares? I dare. Kill the harlot's brute. I lent you corn. The belly but four fingers. Move that. Put you in here. Don't shake and catch his breath. No, no. Okay. Surely you. Do you wish to jump in? Considering it. Yes. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancom is no ordinary fighter. Okay. <laughs> Mancom. First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancom is a sadly, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his reposts are sharp. Okay. Let's win. Fine. Let's start. Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. Okay. Yeah, pathetic and stupid you sound. Your taunts? I've heard dogs wretch things more profound. Hear how pathetic and stupid you sound. <laughs> well, how then is this for a clever tongue twister? You're a bum-botching, black-and-bile-filled blister. 
<laughs> Yo, mama. <laughs> Think you're confused. That sounds more like your sister. I'm immune to disease, but even I'd die if I kissed her. <laughs> you to empty my sister's bedpan. You mange-ridden mutant, not even a man. Hmm. Should have quit before we began. Gonna make you wish you'd turn tail and ran. Why you? Say, I better win this fight. <laughs> uh, uh, I've got to admit, you know how to roast a man. You win. Mean we're not gonna fight? Why? I told you. Hey, what? Won. The Witcher wins, beating Mancom at his own game. What? You out-tongued me, but only because I'm under the weather today. I'd have lashed you raw otherwise. Right. Why does everything sure. these guys say sound sexual? I don't like it. Feels wrong. Two more champions to defeat before you can challenge the Maestro. Still Waters is to be found in Oatville, not far from Mountbank Alley. While Colossus fights in the largest courtyard in San Sebastian. Okay. Uh, go to Cooper's Gate. Move from there, I think. Quite the fragrant whiff. What is the pheasantry stewing up? Live that too soon. Ah, you know, I, I love you. I've, I've never met you, Richard, but you know, I absolutely love you. Pretty much what it felt like there. Okay. Beat the crap out of this guy. Will you face Colossus? Yes. Proof your word. I shan't waste my breath on you until you do. I can't see it. Oh, now you look to be a man in search of exertion. Hey, White Locks, will you dare to fight Colossus? Eh, yeah, why not? Colossus. Interesting as monikers go. Or is that what his mother called him out of the womb, too? <laughs> why would she not have? Colossus. It rings out with pride and passion. Oh, can hear a pheasant so, in the background. Will you fight? A pheasant, sorry. A peacock. Yeah. Fine. Let's Need fight. to remember how to fight. Ah, boring. I'm not interested. Quick I am. Too quick for you. It'll be knick-knack, patty-whack. Here's your arm bone. Where's the sport in it? Don't want to fight. All right. Why bother looking for challengers then? Wasting my time. These guys are weird. Oh, a bit testy, are we? A witcher, right? Let's do it like this. You parry three blows I throw your way, you win. But you can't swing at me. Not once. Just okay. deflect my blows, got it? Catch three of them and I'll toss you double your wager. Feeling that generous? No, I just know you can't do it. No one's ever How do I parry? Too fast, see? So, willing to try for three blocks? Eh. Fine. Doubt I'll have any trouble deflecting a few blows. That I get. At long last, one with a sportsman's soul. Now, listen. The rules say you're not to start your parry until I've cocked my fist. Standing with your guard ups, not allowed. Ladies I'm trying champion. to remember how to witness a most peculiar fight. How shall I say this? The Witcher has accepted a colossal challenge. Okay. Would help if I press the right buttons. Too quick for you, huh? How long are you gonna make me wait? Okay, I'm 
completely out of practice again. I'm going to beat him. Come on. Yeah. Fine. Let's fight. Don't want just beat him again. Okay. Too quick for you. Two. There we go. I remember buttons now. The Witcher has parried Colossus's blows. No one's ever managed that feat. Here's your Jew. Thanks. Only one combatant remains. The knight known as Steel Waters. Defeat him, and you will gain the right to challenge the Maestro. Look for the knight in Oatville, near Mountebank Abbey. Okay. Uh, let's jump onto the map very quickly. Put the custom marker down. Oh, this guy's going to want to do to fight me. Palace. It's probably closer. Ooh. Ah. These beat em up challenges, I just don't really like them. Went games and. Most of the time, it just doesn't work that well with the game's mechanics. Would you care to trap? Shall you face off against Steel Waters? Shall you? Shall you? Okay. Like to know who I'm punching? This knight won't reveal his name or face. Won't say anything at all. Not a word. Rein in your curiosity, sir. A knightly vow is no idle promise. Still waters shall conceal both face and crest until such time as one defeats him. So, will you fight or not? Go on then. Remember the buttons now. I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> I don't think it's a woman. Noble lords and virtuous ladies, another fight is soon to begin. Uh, if it's a woman, that's how. Come on. What the hell? My ass happened to me here. Come on. the idea when they do that haymaker and they go ladies and gentlemen the witcher defeats the previously invincible still waters and what about it was freed of his vow 
The knight can now show his face. Your blows are strong and true. My congratulations. Knew it was a woman. Thanks. Have you naught to add? I'm a woman. No wry remarks? What no? for? It's the 13th century. Nothing peculiar about it. Women own taverns, run farms, and fight. Will you not claim there was no honor in fighting a wench? No. No. Ah. I expect to hear that from someone who was afraid to lose to a woman. I was just afraid to lose. <laughs> a good fight. A sound fight. One that's earned you the right to challenge the maestro. You've only dishonor to gain should you back out now. You'll well, I have no intention to by the back ducks. out. Just need to try and find a way to beat them. These fist fights are inside. Quickly save. Fighting done. Oh, and we are nearly actually done with everything. Rolling on an empty stomach. Oh, dreadful. I go for quickly go for the beast of Tufo. Credit to anyone who plays these games on Death March. The guard brings peace to our domains. How much for your work? Game saved. For healthy ladies, spread no cloud. This is where I find the boxer they call the Maestro. Mm -hmm. Maestro, champ, the undefeated. Folk call him many things. You are the witcher who dropped the three lesser champions? Yes. I am. Come to fight the maestro, but seems to me he's indisposed. Alcohol is the maestro's remedy for his crippling shines. He's a delicate man, you see? He'd never so much as hit a pillow while sober. Angry drunk. Excellent. Fighting sober is like dancing to silence. Yeah, make sure you're not fighting. too drunk. Sure you can stand? You're blind drunk. Not sure bum bopping business. Ah, oh, <laughs> you cheat, you chat while my vodka's gone flat. Will you fight, yay or nay? No, oh, man. Let's go. I challenge you. Hold on. Whoa. I'm a man of principle. I keep to a code. I don't tinkle where I eat, and I don't fight folk who don't drink. Meaning, have a drink with him, Geralt. Drink or hey, diddle diddle out of here. Go on, then. Let's get pished. Sheesh. Fine. Mesdames, Messieurs, the Maestro will perform at last. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a, a drunken fight, isn't it? Let's do this. <laughs> Come on. When I chop off, you bumble. Go on, go out.
Don't like those jabs. And catch him while he's still kind of winding up. Eh. As the uh, as the Dark Souls players call it, whiff punishing. I believe that's what it is. You beat me. It's not happened in years. Your Remove that. Glorious. Oh, damn it. I'm gobsmacked. <laughs> I have to drink it off. Oof, good fight. To speak through, I'm pleased you strip me of the title. I shall have more time to pursue my chief interest now. Which is... Witcher Geralt of Rivia is hereby crowned Fisticuffs champion of Beauclair. Bravo! I have won the Fisticuffs. Behold, your trophy. Oof. Dead arm. A life without liquors like loving without licking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all these ones go down, people apparently according to this guy. <laughs> oh, they really had fun when they made this game. Let's collect them all. Two foam monster. Let's go get this stuff. Shall we? And LaCroix's mill is probably the closest at this point. Ah. Swallow potion regenerates vitality both during and outside of combat. Woohoo! Witcher. My name? Who would have thought? Knights trading in wine was something. Um. I guess so, you know, what do you expect? I can see I won't go! I simply won't do it! Okay. Yeah? What is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Problem with a ten on, then. Prick. Spit it out. What's it about? Ah, ah, ah. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. I expect And difference. I don't care. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bourbeau. Oh, as Monsieur de Bourbeau. Uh, I want money. Fine. Monsieur de Bourbeau. The emphasis falls on the last syllable. Bobo. You see these two swords mm -hmm. I got on my back? See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. One is steel, else. one is... Tell me what this is about, monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Things in their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil, then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence, a strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Leave your ass, that's why. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. 
That's not helpful. But they most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night, just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Okay. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Mm, most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Doubt it. I'll oh, return. That should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yay or nay? Well, we need to talk about my pain. Depends. What kind of reward are we talking about? Hmm. Gonna be an ass and not want to pay me anything. Come now, be reasonable. <sighs> Come now, be reasonable. Hmm. Fine. Seems I must take the loss. Agreed. Let me to find out what's going on. Fine. Lost money. I'll do it. Need to look around here first. Then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. I'm arding those wine barrels the moment I get inside. Your eyes. Shine. Yes. I have wonderful eyes. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Move along. Oh, oh, okay, quiet. he's going inside. Yes, the monster actually is nocturnal. Gotta wait till dark. Stop taking summary. The last tremors damaged several bottle stands and knocked over several wine barrels, whose subsequent rolling wreaked further havoc among the losses. Twelve bottles of the twelve sixty three, nine bottles of the twelve sixty four, seventeen of the sixty five, nine bottles of the sixty seven, seven bottles of the seventy one. In addition, two barrels of wine in the maturing process burst and split. The losses following this tremor proved greater than those after the previous one. These tremors shall be the ruin of me. Okay. Work schedule. Recapitulation. This past half fortnight, I was forced to resign three workmen to the cleaning up of the damage caused by the Earth's strange trembling, a fact which significantly slowed down slowed work on the vines. Sophie remains in confinement and will not be able to return to work for some time. Later, her effectiveness will be hindered by the presence of the child. Jean-Luc did not even report for work today, with no warning and no excuse. When he finally does show, I shall have to have a serious talk with him. Okay. Well, let's spend a bit of time outside. Nothing to see here. Move along. Come in at about ten PM. That should be a decent uh, decent time for it. Give me a drink. All right, let's look around. Got noise there. Shattered dishes. Got knocked off the shelf somehow. Shaken off, maybe. What the? Hmm. 
hearing something down here, so let's throw on a quen. That's better. It's gonna F5 because I'm realise I haven't saved for a little while. They have giant centipede issues down here. Yeah, at the very least, they've got Kikamoras. Kikamoras. Causing this though. So I can only assume that they've got some kind of. They've got that um, giant centipede issue. Some of the places around here appear to have gained. Save again. Break through with that in a second. Show me what you got. What is going on here? This is weird. Something that lives with Kickamores? It appears to be somewhere I've already been. I literally went backwards there.
Getting more Ooh. interesting by the minute. Cracked kicking more eggs. Something's been feeding on them. Yeah. No kicking more duck this. Tunnels are the work of something much bigger. Something with heavy, wide claws. So let me get rid of those eggs. Cracked kicking more eggs. Something's been feeding on them. I mean, that would explain why the Kikamors are quite defensive. They're literally being raided by something. And whatever it is, it appears to be quite effective. Destroy them before the young hatch. Start prowling the vineyard. Okay. First things first. Get rid of all the eggs in the nest. Properly turned around in here. Water course has to one. An underground stream. Monster I'm looking for lives underground, digs tunnels, feeds on kicking moors, and is big. Very big. Won't learn anything else here. Time to go back to the surface. How could this be? Genuinely not sure. because I've broken the parts of his wall. Sacre bleu! What is the meaning of this? I'm paying you to slay a monster, not demolish my property! Property's falling apart on its own, what with all the tunnels under it. I'd fill those in soon if you don't want your building to collapse. Tunnels? Fiddle my farm, how did tunnels appear down there? You've got some nasty Something creature down there. Him, a large creature. Also killed a few Kiki Moors down there and destroyed their eggs. Consider it a half favor. Won't cost you much. Kiki Moors. <laughs> yes, of course. Good work. Indeed, a reward is due. Thank you. <clears throat> Madame de Bourbeau, I presume? Here you know something about the missing farmhand. Jean-Luc? Yes. We went to examine this year's seedlings. Something had been nibbling at them. Then we heard these odd noises. John Luke went to reconnoiter and never returned. Where did he go? Where did you last see Jean Luke, madame? Exactly. 
in the, in the fields uh, north of here, by the wood. New seedlings there? I was under the distinct impression we had planted them all on the south slope. Almost all, my dear. I requested that some be planted to the north, by the grove. Just the remainders. Madame, she was buying John Luke. John Luke. Tall, exceedingly well built, hair black as pitch. Dear, concentrate. There is not a peasant that is not well built. They work in the fields all day. He means scars, birthmarks, that sort of thing. Mm. She was sleeping then with Jean Luc. I suppose, but he did wear a pendant around his neck, a silver one. Silver jewelry on a farmhand? It was a gift, I believe. Or that is what he claimed. Mm. Should be enough to go on. Then what are you fritting round here for? Get to work! Ah, oh, just backhand him with one strike go out. Just one. Mm. 